What's up guys, welcome to Formative Film School. I'm Ted with the A-Team. Today I'm here with Justin Jones. Justin Jones is the DP that shot some of the biggest hip hop music videos for Zayn, Wiz Khalifa, Anderson Pack. Today he's here to talk to us about how to use projector lighting effects in music videos. Justin, what is the first way to use a projector? So the first way and the most basic way to use a projector is to actually project onto a wall. So yesterday we took a Dana dolly with two six foot rails, mounted our uh, projector on top of it, um, strapped it down so it wouldn't fall or anything, made it safe. So raising the projector about a foot above the camera and shooting from below it minimizes shadow and helps you get a more realistic effect. Absolutely, so if you think about your light source and your camera, you put them as close as possible, that means that the shadow will cast right behind whatever the talent is. Exactly. So in this case, we had a big white psych and you filled up that white psych with that projector. Why would you sometimes bring the projector in? The reason why I would bring the projector in is if I wanted to just project on somebody's face. So the next way I like to use the projector is to backlight the projector and for this effect to actually work we're going to need to bring in a hazer or a smoke machine. I like to think the thicker the better. Um, there is a point of too much when it you know it breaks down your light and you stop getting exposure from it but to actually get enough exposure to make this work it needs to be pretty thick. Gotcha so in this case as of before when we were seeing the actual image in this case what are we seeing through that haze? So through the haze we're going to be seeing more of the beam of light rather than the image of the light. So the images that you will use in the backlight projection would have to be more geometric shapes, simple patterns, and stuff like that. How did you make the images, or how did you find your projector effects? So the effects that I find are mostly royalty free or I create them myself. Um, so the images of like, you know, film burns and film scans and stuff like that, I'll find on royalty free websites. And then I'll also create my own kind of geometric shapes with keyframed, you know, uh, movements or patterns or something like that. Gotcha. So I know for a lot of the audience out there that's new to this maybe, they may be worried, oh, I can't create my own effects. What are the effects? Yeah, so basically it's uh, if you can draw a line on a computer, Photoshop or Premiere or anything, you take that line, you make it wider or, you know, tighter, do stuff like that, create a triangle and move it to the side, left or right, or spin it, and uh, you'd be surprised at the effects that you can come up with with that. So the third projector technique would be actually attaching it to the roof or up on a stand high above the talent. Uh, what this does is it creates uh, beams of 3D light that come down, but instead of like the backlight effect, you're actually seeing the plane of light rather than just the beam of light coming at you. It almost looks like an alien abduction. Will you see those pictures on the middle? Yes, yeah, so you will see them. It's a little unflattering because you get, you know, the raccoon eye and stuff, but you will see kind of uh, uh, the light from the projector and the image that you've chosen kind of uh, cast over your talent. All right, so putting the projector from above. Now, that is a pretty big projector. How did you rig it from above? If you have kind of an open beam up top, it'd be really easy kind of just ratchet strap it to the beam. In our case, we had to kind of create a rig out of C-clamps, gobo heads, and uh, we kind of built an apparatus to cage it in mm -hmm. and then ratchet strapped it to that. So there's the episode of Formative Film School with Justin Jones. I'm Ted from the A-Team. Leave a comment below with the projector effect that you would like to try and how you'd use it. We'll be picking the best comment and giving out a try eight to the winner. So leave that comment. Think something creative. Find Justin on Instagram at JustinJonesDP and uh, find us on social media at Aperture Photo and we'll catch you guys next time.